found the deer in, and we're about to test it out. Hi guys! So we're on our way to the Grand Palace. Guess who almost got scammed? Twice. <laughs> um, so basically, I've read on TripAdvisor, luckily, that a lot of people outside the Grand Palace will try and tell you that it's not open and um, will try and redirect you to one of the other like tour companies or something. So basically, Murray and I were like to the guy, hey, we're about to go get food, so we'll come back later and we'll do your tour later. And then we literally just walked the opposite way into the Grand Palace. Um, oh my god, he, he wanted for us to get on the river. We should have been like, we have an immense fear. Like, we're allergic to water. We don't, we don't mind. We're allergic to yeah. water. Um, we're allergic to fish. Yeah. We're allergic. <laughs> we just, we're allergic to, to everything. In the Grand Palace now. And as you can see, it is really, really, really busy. But the palace is up there. What you can see behind me is a beautiful grand palace and I just want to say it is such a gift to be here. This place is incredible. There are little kids everywhere coming to worship which I think is just lovely and the architecture, everything's really pretty. The only thing is it's really hot today. Like we are sweaty messes but you know what, it's all about that glow. So that sweaty glow. That sweaty glow, that's alright. Maria and I have returned from Grand Palace and we're just in Thailand finally and the food and it smells delicious the cafe is really beautiful and cute so I'm very excited to eat and just taste this so we just had um, delicious Thai Pad Thai Pad Thai for lunch and now we've just come to this place to have Coconut ice cream and that guy over there. Coconut shell ice cream. Yeah, he makes it himself, which I think is just incredible. And I'm very, very excited to try it. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's really hot. <laughs> Guys, we've just come to what first so we had. Um, lunch and then we had some coconut ice cream and now we've got what so we just bought our tickets they were 200 baht each which i think is pretty affordable so what we're gonna do now is just go in have a quick look around before we head back to the hotel tonight We've just come out of the reclining Buddha and now we're looking at the guardian giants at Wapo, which is what is in the background. It's all just really beautiful. Basically, I forgot to vlog, but we checked into our next hotel, and now we're going down Khao San Road. Um, we're going down Khao San Road to perhaps get some food, and also just check out um, what Khao San Road is all about, because I've heard many things. Yeah, it's really pretty down here too. It's a bit different to Siam, which is quite interesting, because I didn't think it would be so different. Okay, so we've made it to Khao San Road and we had to walk down this really, really sketchy shortcut but this beautiful lady helped us out which like I've been saying, Thailand, people are amazing here. They are always willing to help and I want you guys to take a look at Khao San Road. Oh, I 
like wasn't even filming that. <laughs> when you vlog, but you weren't even filming. Okay, so Mel's and I just came back from Calstan Road. And basically, what we're doing now is just going back to our hotel. Um, dinner was amazing. I got some fresh guava, which honestly kind of reminds me of childhood because when I was little, every single day when I would come back from school, my mom would like cut up guava for me and have it ready for me to eat. So this is a little snapshot back to childhood. I think tonight we're gonna do a movie night, right, Mel? Yeah. Yes. How's dinner? Dinner was good. We said it was small portions, but I'm actually pretty full. Yeah, I'm pretty full too. So, oh. good morning, friends. Um, so we got to our hotel at like eight o'clock last night, and we thought we would like have an early night and wake up super early. What time did we get up, Maz? Um, seven. Okay, we got up. We got out of bed at like eight. Which honestly, when I say that, I sound a bit insane for saying that. That's pretty late. But, but I think. It's late to hear. Yeah, but I think it just feels late because we've been getting up at like 6, 5.30 every single day um, and then leaving the like leaving the hotel at 8. But um, I think we just wanted like a really, really chill morning to laze around and chat. Um, anyways, this is our next hotel. I don't even think I've spoken about this hotel. But we are staying at River Surya. So we moved from um, Santara to River Surya just because we wanted to be closer to the river to experience a different um, side of of Thailand and um, yeah it's weird because it is like surprisingly different like sorry it's different side of Bangkok but um, it is surprisingly different yesterday we went and did the Grand Palace and Wat Pho today we're on our way to Wat Arun um, and then we're just gonna see where life takes us we are both craving mangoes <laughs> so we might go and get out mangoes but yeah this is our room i haven't done room tours in any of like our hotels but you get the gist also we have a little balcony Ooh, fancy fancy the balcony is actually really nice we should get some photos there but yeah excited for day is it day three yeah excited for day three so we're at what our room now and I'm just going to show you guys a quick peek. So what you can see behind me there is a beautiful Wat Arun here in Bangkok um, and it's really really big and lush. I think entry fee was about 50 baht which has been the cheapest of all the temples and so that's what $2.50 AUD are definitely worth it in my opinion to come check out. Okay guys, this architecture is honestly so beautiful, it's insane, like I don't even understand how these colours are real, they've been here for years and they managed to just stay put. Okay guys, Marie and I decided to catch a water taxi from what I moved down to the icon here. So this is I guess where all the designer outlets are, you'll find all the big designer brands here and I've heard that this is fairly new in Thailand so yeah it's really really beautiful. Um, I think it's a good place to take photos actually because you've got the PR right opposite this place. Um, also beautiful um, food court in the background where Maria and I are about to go and eat because we are hungry 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 girls. I like this cool market area in Icon Siam. I want to show you guys a look in the background. But as you can see, there are just little mini stalls everywhere and there's like food options. There's plenty to pick from. Um, I'm excited to dive in and try them out as well. Also, I think this is a good place for me to um, get presents to take back home. Maria and I have come down to this place called Asia Teak after going to Icon Siam. I've had a lot of stuff about like durian and how durian doesn't smell nice and apparently it tastes really good but it just doesn't smell nice and your girls were kind of curious so we got ourselves a durian 
I'm about to test it out. But can I just say, it smells fine. Like it's, I, it just smells like a mango that's been out a bit. It smells long. like a oh. really ripe. Uh, yeah, mango. exactly, a really like, ripe mango. I actually, and we even bought like durian candy before, because um, we hadn't tried durian yet, but we just wanted to try something to do with durian. We're like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna try it out. Um, do you wanna rock it? Rock it? The durian testing is happening. Also, can I just say, this like small piece of durian, it's this massive. is four dollars, yeah. and like me and Neil weren't sure if we were gonna like it. Also, it is a pretty large piece of fruit, so they initially just gave us one spoon, and so that we went back to ask for another spoon. It literally smells so good. I'm so confused. We went back to ask for another spoon, and they just looked con confused, like. Why do they need to do they, they probably thought, okay, only one person can have that much durian. But like, like... We don't know if we're gonna like it. Yeah. Look, it's a weird texture. Huh? Okay, yeah, it is a weird... I think it's a taste that I don't like. I think it's a texture. I mean, the taste is pretty good. It just feels a bit weird in your mouth. It's like baby... I mean, it just feels like baby... I keep waiting for like the mango texture to kick in, but it doesn't. And I feel it like does taste like a bit like mango it, as well. It tastes a lot like. But mango. it just. What is this middle? Um, I think that's a seed. But it, what it is, is it just um, feels like baby food in your mouth. Okay, so that was our durian taste test. I'm really confused by it. I don't know if I would go get it again. I think I'm still likely to get durian. Flavored, flavored things, things though, yeah. because the candies that we tried were really nice and I wouldn't even mind like a shake of some sort. I just don't um, like the texture. I just don't like, yeah, I agree. The texture is a bit confusing and like I keep waiting for like a pungent mango to kick in. So um, we're gonna go around Asia Teak, maybe get some things. I feel like a mango now. So I'm gonna go back on the hunt for a mango. And yeah. We see mango right there. Where's mango? At Coco Garden. All right, well, there we go. I'm gonna go get my mango. Beautiful, beautiful sunsets. We have one behind us. Right Alright, guys, that was all for this video. Please stay tuned for the Phuket vlogs, and as always, take care.